Well, thanks very much, Kim. And can I too, like Carolyn, begin by acknowledging that we're meeting today in the traditional lands of the Ngunnawal people and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Uh, to Carolyn, to Kim, uh, to uh, Karen and all the others who've worked hard to bring this conference together, uh, thank you for your hard work to bring to bear scholarly research on an important topic. Uh, it's always a delight for me to come back to ANU to perform tasks like this. Uh, having worked over in the Coombs building for uh, most of my time at ANU, uh, it's very familiar territory. Uh, coffee at, uh, uh, at the Gods, Ca Gods at Headley Bull is a, a nice way to start the day. Uh, and it's a delight also to come back to ANU uh, to that great interplay uh, between uh, scholarly ideas uh, and policy relevance. Uh, those of you who are coming to your first ANU conference might be somewhat surprised to see behind me uh, sponsors from one college, two centres and one institute, but that's just normal for ANU. Uh, so much of the great influence that ANU has done has been on breaking down those disciplinary boundaries on encouraging scholars with expertise in individual fields to come together to solve particular challenges. And so today uh, we've got historians, political scientists, uh, lawyers, people from the fi fine arts discipline uh, and anthropologists. Uh, and I've probably missed some of you in the room at that. Uh, I haven't even mentioned The Economist in the room. Yeah. Uh, and so there is, uh, there, there is with that uh, a great deal of intellectual firepower uh, being brought to an important policy issue. Uh, and so much of what ANU has done well uh, has been on identifying issues uh, that are important policy challenges. Uh, honour killing is certainly that. Uh, there are some honour killings that uh, involve homosexuality, but the vast majority of the 5,000 or so honour killings every year in the world uh, are women. Uh, if nothing else reminds us of why we need feminism, this is it. It is uh, a huge challenge in the world today, uh, but it's one that we should be wary about regarding as, as simply something that happens to the other. Uh, honour killing has its uh, origins uh, in our own culture as well. Uh, Titus Andronicus is perhaps one of the uh, uh, canonical uh, examples of honour killing uh, in our own culture. And uh, if you don't know the passage, let me, let me read to you uh, the awful passage in the, the last scene of Titus, uh, Titus Andronicus. Uh, where Lavinia has been uh, raped, uh, her hands cut off, her tongue cut out, uh, and Titus Andronicus, having killed the men who have uh, abused his daughter, uh, is now uh, faced with the question as to how to treat his own daughter. Titus Andronicus. My lord the emperor, resolve me thus. Was it well done of rash Virginius? to slay his daughter with his own right hand, because she was enforced, stained, and deflowered. Saturninus, it was Andronicus. Titus Andronicus, your reason, mighty lord? Saturninus, because the girl should not survive her shame, and by her presence still renew his sorrows. Titus Andronicus, a reason mighty strong and effectual, a pattern, precedent, and lively warrant for me, most wretched, to perform the like. Die, die, Lavinia, and thy shame with thee. He then kills Lavinia and says, And with thy shame, thy father's sorrow die. I think so many of us, when we're faced with something horrendous like this, have that, that instinct to look away, to, to go and, and work on something else. But it's the, the great maxim of public life that uh, evil flourishes only because good people do nothing. In order to stop the scourge of honour killing, we need great minds like yours, 
Uh, we need conferences like these uh, working on understanding uh, the cultural underpinnings of honour of honor killing, uh, understanding the context, the role of emotion, uh, the uh, concepts of gender uh, that so drive this practice. Uh, we need to understand it so that we can stop it. Uh, without understanding honour killing, uh, it, will, it will continue in the future. Uh, so thank you for your work here today. I hope you have a, a powerful exchange of ideas. I hope you uh, all learn a great deal from that interdisciplinary play that is so much uh, the hallmark of the ANU. Uh, and I hope from your conference uh, will flow new ideas uh, about how we can make the world a better place. Thanks.